Welcome to another segment of Making Musicians at Home. My name is Miss Julie and today we will be doing some note naming in a fun, playful, and even physical way with our full bodies, which is kind of a unique thing. So I'm excited you'll be able to do that with me today. The great thing about this activity that we're going to do today is it can be done with any ages at your house right now. I know we have a lot of tweens and teens home right now that maybe are looking for some unique, playful, physical activities to do. So you can get any age, as long as they know their letters of the alphabet, you're good. So bring everybody in to play this one. It'll be really easy. Now you may or may not know the names of the notes on the staff. And so we have a great song on our website. It's available free for download that you can watch to help you learn all of the spaces and the lines in both the treble and bass clef. So if you've heard it, sing along. If not, here we go. The treble clef spaces are easy, you see, cause space rhymes with face, so spell F-A-C-E. A letter for each treble. Spaces for bass, don't call it S. All cows eat grass. The bass lines can make you sound smart. Good bridges don't fall apart. And there you have it. That easy. So use that download so that you can learn those, sing along with it, pick a new part each time so that you really are focusing on a certain line or the spaces so that you really get to know all of the notes in the treble, that's the one on the top, and in the bass clef, that's the one on the bottom. For today's activity, I'm gonna be inviting some of the friends from my house in to play jumping beans with me. You will need two things to play this game. One of them is our free download that we have on our website. It's note naming flashcards. You can print them off, put them in a binder. We'll talk a little bit more about those later, but if you've never printed them off, go do it. The other thing you're gonna need is some sort of at-home floor staff. And you can easily make this with masking tape, painter's tape, um, find an area about the size of what my rug is here so that you have enough room for enough bodies to jump. You'll want to make lines that are nine and a half inches apart, roughly. Um, you could get an old sheet and draw on it. Um, to make your lines. You could even head outside with chalk and you could draw it on sidewalk, whatever works for you. Here in our music studio, we actually have a vinyl stuff that we will use and it's great because you can roll it out easy to use whenever you need. So if you had an old sheet, that might be easier for that reason and it's great. You can see how wide it is so that a lot of bodies could get on this and you have a lot of options. Like I said, we're gonna be playing jumping beans in a little bit. So for now, see if you can figure out what your floor staff will be at your house and join me back here in a second. Okay, for our first round, we are just gonna be working on the spaces in the treble clef. We just sang our song, what are the spaces? The first space is F. F. Second space, A. A. Third space, C. C. Fourth space, E. e. Got it. Now, I'm not gonna let you have this. That would be cheating, so I'm gonna hide this for just a second. All right, you ready? We'll start easy. F. A. C. E. A. C. F. E. Now it's time for you to get up and play. We're gonna go ahead and leave these up here for the first few, but we're gonna call some out and let's have you jump. Remember, make sure you're standing in front of the staff as though you're looking at the staff, so you're at the bottom, and use both your feet. It just makes it more fun if you have to jump and land with both feet at the same time. We'll start easy. F, A, are you on the second space? C, E, now we're gonna go a little bit faster. A, F, E, C, E, A, F, A, C, E. How'd you do? Okay, 
Are you ready to do it without any helps? Let's try that again. We'll start easy again. F, A, C, E, C, A, E, A. Are you on the second space? I know I'm going a little bit fast. F, E, F, E, C, A, E, C, F, A, C, E. How'd you do? Okay, you ready for round two? Now the great thing about this game is you can modify it depending on the skill level of your kiddos at home. And so for this round, I'm pulling out my friend to help me be the caller for all of our vendors today. I know he's scheming right now so he can trick them. For this round, we will be working all of the notes in the treble clef. So we already worked on F, A, C, E, and now we will be working on the lines in the treble clef. Our first line would be? E. Our second line would be? G. Our third line would be? B. Our fourth line would be? D. And our fifth line would be? F. All right, and once again, I'm not gonna have you be cheating, so let me hide these for just one second. It's not cheating, I still think we need the extra help. All right, are we ready? Call out a letter. E. They're both right on. B. B. How are you doing? G. F. D. E. Should we go fast now? Yeah. D. What? <laughs> Two footed? F. Ah. Wait, what's another one? B. G. Wait, go fast. What's another one? Let's see if we can trick them. E. B. G. taken out of the round for some reason or another, they can also help be your caller for that round. Now it's time for you to get up and play again. So we are going to be doing all of the spaces and lines in the treble clef. I don't think you need prompts for this one, so take a quick look. This will be your last chance to see if you know them. You think you got them? All right, let's try it. B, are you on the third line? D, F, where did you jump? If it's F, it could be the first space or it could be the fifth line. Either one is correct. C, A, E, this is another one of them. It could be either the fourth space or it could be the very first line. Either one is correct. G, B, F, A, C, D, E, D, E, D, E, F. Uh-oh, did I make you fall? How'd you do? We have one more round. And for this round, we're gonna be using some note naming flashcards. I mentioned them earlier. These are actually free on our website. It's a free download that you can print off. It has not only these great prompt cards to help with each of the verses of the song, we have our every good boy does fine, all cows eat grass, and good bridges don't fall apart. But then you have a nice big flash card for every single line and space in the treble and bass clef, as well as there there be some middle notes in there that you can use. But for this round, we are going to be working all of the notes in the bass clef. Now, because our flash card shows where the note is, it kind of gives a way of where they need to be jumping, but that's okay. We love using our full bodies to reinforce. So the most important thing on this is they have to name the correct note as they jump on it. So if you do name the correct note, you just give yourself a point on your hand and then we'll go from there. You want to help me, Gideon? Mm -hmm. He's hiding over here for me. So we'll make it easy. Here's our first one for him. Go ahead and say it and jump. B. B. 
happy they get to the right one. And again, that's a fun reinforcement if you have another friend helping you that they can be like, oh yeah, they jumped to the right one. Okay, you wanna flip the page for us? Let's see what the next one is. Hmm, see if we can trick them. Whoop, G. G. Yeah, and I forgot to give yourself a point last time and a point for this time. Did you both get it? All three of you actually got it. All right, let's do it again. Should we flip the page again? G. G. Nice. Give yourself another point. We should not be doing points for who gets that first, but maybe the next time, for the next round, you can make a different rose for yours. You want to turn it again? Oh, the suspense. Whoop! E. e. Nice. They're making this too easy. Should we go fast? I know. Let's see if we can flip it fast. You flip it, and then I'll flip it really fast. Go. You want to flip it? D. D. <laughs> oh! We already flipped it. We love that we are using our full bodies to reinforce our note naming on the staff. Such a great playful way, especially when we're looking for ways to get a little bit physical while we're stuck at home right now. So there you go. Try it out. Show us some different variations that you try at home. Now it's your turn to get up and play. For this round, you'll need those note naming flashcards. Like I said, they're free on our website. So make sure you head there, print them out. Uh, you can put them in a binder like we have. We've just slid them in sheet protectors, whatever works for you. So for this round, we're going to be using the bass clef notes. That's what we're going to be reviewing. So we have our bass clef spaces, all cows eat grass, and we have our bass clef lines, good. Bridges don't fall apart. You ready? So you have to say it and then jump to it as you say it. Such good learning to reinforce the notes with our full body as we label them. You ready? What was it? B, that's right. Okay, you ready for the next one? G, here we go again. Another G. You can have more than one in the clef. Did you get there? It's an E. D, that's right. C, yeah, from our all cows eat grass. What would this one be? Bum, 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 bum. F, that's right. The first space in the base. A. And if you need to use it, bum, 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 bum. That's our A. That's right. We're not doing that one this round. But you can pick and choose, and that's the beauty of these flashcards. Shake it up if you need to focus on just the bass clef or just the treble clef or just lines or just spaces, and you can do whatever. Have fun. Of course, our end goal is that you'll be able to see the notes and immediately be able to name them. In the meantime, as you're learning them or reinforcing them, you can use our song to help cue those memory of where they're at or any of our other resources that are free to you on our website. Like I said, we have those note naming flashcards that are so helpful. We have that song that you can download the music to and play along and sing along with and the video that you can sing along with. Whatever you need to help make note naming easy. Thank you for joining me for this note naming segment of Making Musicians at Home.